Drill number one, just like last week, I am using a cooler and I weighed it down. For the drill, I have two cones five yards from the cooler and three yards apart from each other. And then I have another cone five yards behind the two cones. I am passing the ball off the cooler with my right foot, taking a touch forward and then using the Cruyff move to turn. I am then taking a touch out of my feet, using a burst of speed to dribble through the cones to the cone I have set up at the end 10 yards away. I am doing the same thing on my left foot. Drill number two, my setup for the drill stays the same, but I am adding a gate at the end instead of one cone. My touches in turn will stay the same, but I will pass through the second gate instead of dribbling through it. Focus on taking a touch through the gate off of your Cruyff turn before passing through the second gate. Drill number three, my setup will stay the same. I am turning this time with the outside of my foot and then speed dribbling to the cone 10 yards away. Make sure you are turning outside of the cones that are five yards from the cooler before dribbling forward. Drill number four, again my setup stays the same, but I will switch from dribbling through the cones to passing through them. I am still turning with the outside of my foot, getting past the first set of cones, and then passing through my second gate. Drill number five, our wild card drill this week, we are working on a give and go. My setup is having the cones 10 yards apart and my rebounder 5 yards in the middle. I am taking a touch out of my feet before passing to the rebounder. I am moving forward the whole time and when I receive the ball I am taking my touch in a forward direction at speed. Notice on my touch how I chain speeds to separate from a defender. Remember, when passing with my right I should receive with my right and when passing with my left I should receive with my left. 